Hey YouTube, welcome back to Non-Conformist Eyewear. My name is Deborah. I do all things. <clears throat> the thunder is roaring. <laughs> we don't know if it's going to rain. But I do all things non-conformist when it comes to just me and my lifestyle, my well-being. And of course, these I consider to be non-conformist. My second set of freeform locks. And I share a little bit about my simple life. So the best oil for your hair now if you see me wince like ah, in this video please do forgive me i hope it doesn't happen i'm battling shingles for the first time in my life at 48 <laughs> and that thing is painful it's in my back just one spot and when the pain comes, you just go, uh, uh, please, why is this thing? <laughs> I haven't started scratching yet. I'm really trying not to. But anyway, the best oil, the best oil. So the best oil for your free form locks is the oil that I use. You'll be like, Deborah, I thought you said you didn't use any oil. Hear me out. This oil, it does have a, an odor to it. It has a smell to it, its own smell. I don't think it has a color. I would say it's colorless. You really can't buy it anywhere. Um, it doesn't come in a bottle. You don't have to worry about the expiry date or the date it was manufactured. If it has any additives in it, if you need to add it to something else, where you need to store it, how you need to store it. You don't need to worry about how you need to apply it, when you need to apply it, how, how often you need to apply it. Boy, the list goes on and on and on and on and on. However, this oil is really dependent on you and me. It's dependent on our diet, you know. Um, and I'm not going to sit here and say be a pescatarian, vegetarian, vegan, plant-based. Just eat right. We all know r the right food to eat by now, don't we? We're all adults, so we've heard so much out there about what we should be eating. So eat the right things. But my philosophy is make sure that they are also rich enough in a variety of you know the, the, the different parts of i guess the food the food not food chain is it the food chain or the food classes of food and most importantly the good fats and oils uh, for me i like to consume my oil so therefore this oil without further ado drum roll is sebum the oil that we produce the best oil really um we all produce it our caucasian counterparts produce more apparently we produce less but um i feel like it's just so much easier for me to rely on that and just improve on my diet i'm not on any diet i just eat but improve on what i eat make sure it's clean and balanced enough to feed all the extremities of my body including my hair and of course, I, I smell the sebum sometimes when, especially it's more pungent. The smell is very distinctive first thing in the morning or if you are in a room where there isn't so much ventilation um, or after a few days or even maybe if a week or so of not washing your hair, you will smell it. And if you rub your scalp, you will see that there seems to be some sort of an oily film on the tip of your fingers so that's it the best oil the best oil rely on what your body produces i say i wouldn't say don't use other oils because again i always put this disclaimer in that i'm not here to bash anyone but if what your hair naturally produces is not causing any damage if you're not seeing any visible damage to your locks i'm not seeing any visible damage to my locks which i think can be fixed through oil in my hair so therefore uh, the saying goes if it ain't broken why fix it anyway I'm out of here I'll see you soon thank you so much for the love for the support thank you for all the questions thank you thank you thank you I want to give a big shout out to one of our new subscribers actually two of our new subscribers actually three of our new subscribers all of our new subscribers I want to give you a big shout out all of our new subscribers but there is one in particular I think it's Laura from uh, Queensland Australia 
who really took the time out to uh, leave a beautiful long comment all of your comments are wonderful but hers stood out for me because she talked about how she doesn't typically comment and she's quite shy but she did and I feel connected so I, I thank you all and Emmanuel as well and there's another uh, 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 someone else who joined uh, who subscribed creative something I can't quite remember the creative something so thank you all so very much until next time I'm out of here Mm. Mm. I'm only joking. See you later. Can I find the off button? <laughs>